Hello, hello to all my space cadets. It is AD with Cosmostrology and I'm going to be doing your Zodiac reading. So this is if you are a Sagittarius, guys, and you can be a Sagittarius Western Sun, Western Moon, or a Sagittarius Vedic Rising, Vedic moon all right it should apply this matters because at the end of the reading i am going to be doing an an astrological analysis letting you know where the placements are but because i subscribe to vedic the placements could be different from the mainstream but without any further ado let's go ahead and get into your reading super duper excited um your fellow fire signs have all been really uh interesting and uh, supportive and great. So I'm hoping that that energy bleeds over to yours. Uh, there definitely has been a strong emphasis on relationships, partnerships, work, and coworkers. So we'll see if you fit into that. I'm sure that you will. <laughs> I'm sure that you will one way or another. We all travel in packs, all right? So this is for my Sagittarius people. Haha, -ha, the Knight of Cups starting off strong for your reading. All right, we have the Knight of Wands, wow. Ooh, the five of cups. All right. So somebody Sagittarius definitely wants to apologize. They feel bad for how things got left off. They feel bad for how things um, went down, but there is definitely an opportunity with the five of cups for a new beginning, a renewal. We'll see how the rest of it plays out, but moving in from the six of wands, somebody, and this could be your energy, somebody is coming to win period okay <laughs> like they are not taking no they're not taking failure as an option we have the five of pentacles in the middle of your reading the nine of pentacles the knight of pentacles oh my goodness so three knights <gasps> three knights walked into a bar <laughs> a knight of cups a knight of wands and the knight of pentacles walked into a bar <laughs> the six of cups and the four of cups okay so you definitely wow that's so funny you definitely have a more emotional reading than your fire counterparts but and then look at that the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck okay so straight up straight up Sagittarius energy there's definitely somebody from your past who wants to come back and and offer you some sort of peace offering they want to um, they want to apologize. They want to rekindle. They want to give you love in spaces that they did not give you love before. And just so you know, in case you're new to my channel, I'm not necessarily a love centered reader. Um, so, you know, this is your message. I'm going to give the message as it comes out. And so this definitely does talk about strong emotional ties, emotional bonds, could be friendships, could be platonic, could be work, but somebody has definitely wronged you in the past. They left you kind of out to dry. Um, and now they kind of want to come back and offer you something a lot more stable. They see victory with you and they want you to know that. So with this top line that we have here, somebody, this is definitely communication about somebody's woes. Somebody wants to apologize straight. I mean, there's not even a, like you can interpret it different ways, but that's very strong um, that there is certainly a message. The Knights refer to messages about something sad, something disappointing, but it's not the end of the world because it's the five of cups and there's two cups that are still upright. It's just this is the crying over spilt milk card where it really depends on your perspective and how you see things and how you want to see things and how you want to go down in certain things and aspects. Um so yeah, just being mindful of that. So I would expect some sort of apologetic communication. There is certainly victory, all right? So I do imagine that you could have been in the dark about something Sagittarius, maybe left out in the dark about some financial situations, but you're going to be able to overcome this. Um, there's something from your past that is going to be brought to the forefront and it's going to give you an opportunity to stand on your own two feet again with the Nine of Pentacles. But I will say, Sagittarius, this does feel... Um, the, the, I guess the time frame that we're looking at, I forgot to mention, I'm, I'm looking at when the, the sun enters into sidereal, um, Aquarius, cause that's when we have the most changes to your, um, chart. So this will, this time frame was like mid February to mid March. So this time frame might not be the easiest time frame. You know, there are quite a few challenging energies here, particularly when it deals with money finances, but I want to say you're not destitute. You're going to be able to get whatever you feel like you've lost. You're actually going to be able to get it back tenfold. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because of this right here, the Knight of Pentacles. It's like 
there's things from your past that are going to be able to bring opportunities in for your future. But you kind of seem like pretty powerless in this situation. You might feel powerless in the situation. Uh, but it honestly is going to be past deeds and past karmas that are going to really benefit you. So now looking at your outer influences, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. There's a message here. There's a conflicting message about something that is emotionally upsetting and it could deal with your finances i'm not gonna bs you um or it could deal with somebody a younger a younger person a younger love that just did not was not revealing <laughs> um and they feel very bad about it but there's nothing to be done and so it's like one of those things where like i think both of you are kind of like eh there's really nothing to be done. But because of your past karmas, we have the Six of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. Look at this beautiful energy that's coming in. There will be victory. We have two sixes and we have two fives. So a lot of changes to bring balance and harmony. So you're going through like this really kind of mm, uncomfortable period in order to bring balance and harmony okay so look at all this travel some of you guys could be traveling you could be you know hopping on that high horse <laughs> stepping in high cotton um so i would not be surprised if that happens uh but yeah it's certainly going to be hearing from somebody from your past offering some sort of uh reconciliation they feel left out in the cold they want to give you they want to gift you you know the, the gift of themselves. They miss you and they want you back. <laughs> it's kind of like the energy that's being represented here. And then on the other end, you know, you might feel a little lonely. You might feel a little left out. You might feel like you're in a gilded cage of some sorts, uh, especially when I see the Nine of Pentacles surrounded by these two particular cards. It doesn't look like the most comfortable situation. Um, even though you're fine, again, you're secure, you're protected, but you're just like, Ugh. <laughs> when am I going to get, when is something going to change? Like, when is this going to be different? And I, and I do want to say for this time period, Sagittarius, I don't want to say that you're powerless. You feel powerless, but I do want to say that your best bet is to actually just kind of sit and wait to see how things unfold, opposed to trying to get into action oriented mode, because there's nothing to really be done right now, but let the fates and let karma kind of take care of it. Now, depending on how this is hitting you, you can take that message for what you want. Remember, this is entertainment purposes for the most part, when I do these tarot, not for the most part, they are. So you have to make your own financial decisions. You have to make your own um, decision when it comes to your love life, your partnerships, the contracts that you sign, and any legal issues that you have. You know, that's up to you what you do ultimately. But as a, from a spiritual perspective and from a spiritual advisor point, if that's what you are in this, you know, looking at, I would say, you do not have to listen to, I would say that your best bet is to kind of sit and hold tight, hang tight before this situation resolves itself. Because there are, there is victory. The Six of Wands lights up this entire reading. I love to see all this yellow energy here. It really gives me the sun vibes. It gives me Leo vibes. Um, so you are going to be victorious in all of this. But this time period that we're talking about is going to be feeling pretty... Uh, hopeless but keep in mind I, hopeless is a strong word that's 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 too that's too strong but it's going to be feeling pretty like uh deep sigh but please keep in mind that your past energies and your past actions of giving and being kind it's going to be rewarded by the universe so even though you're in this cold situation right now you're not meant to stay down it's like you're not going to stay down there is going to be solutions to your issues there are going to be problems that will be solved okay so now let's go ahead and move into your lenormand excuse me guys one second i know this is gonna happen okay Sorry, sorry. Summer, summer, sorry. All right. So we're going to be looking at your heart, mind, and actions for the month. Heart. Yeah, the clouds. Definitely confusion. Definitely not really knowing what is the next step to take. Um, but I really do think that the answer is to not really take much of a step at all. Like I said before, depending on your, take that into account with your situation, but even with the Knight of Pentacles, you're going to be able to build whatever it is that you feel like you've lost back. So I also feel like there's like a strong pull to the past and that's on your heart too. Like kind of looking on to brighter times. Like I remember back when I had this much money or I remember back when I lived in this space. I remember it's, it's kind of like that 
I want to say dark nostalgia because it's isolating you opposed to bringing back happy memories. It's giving you happy memories, but then really crushing memories when you look to see that you're not in that space anymore. So be mindful um, that your energy doesn't just run away with you. Um, that your heart's confusion doesn't let you, doesn't stop you from seeing the light at the end of this tunnel uh, with the star cards there, which is about wish fulfillment and about gains. So it is going to clear up. I promise it's going to clear up. Yep. Heart, mind. You are very, this is very challenging. It's a very troubled beginning. Like you're just like, ah, I don't know what to do. Like it just feels very uncomfortable. That's the best way to word this time period for you, Sagittarius, is that it's it's, it's uncomfortable, uh, but it's not unbearable. Um, and again, this is going to be a test of faith, a test of strength, a test of, you know, others. And then your actions. I'm just hearing false start ring. And then we have the fox at the bottom of the deck. So there is like, um, be mindful of people's intentions, right? Be be mindful of of people's stories, people's chatter, what they what they say, and be mindful of your own chatter and what you're telling your own self. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Sagittarius? Like sometimes there's just these periods of times where you have to just be on alert because there has been this false start. There has been this this tough beginning. There's this confusion, not really knowing what the next chapter is. It feels like there's been some challenges coming into a partnerships, connections, just like financial. The, the Lenormand aren't echoing the financial issues, but it just feels like it's bleeding over because you're just like, well, what am I supposed to do? What is the next start? Everything is lost. Everything is not lost. <laughs> Everything is not lost lost okay um this is a very challenging combination but this is an extremely positive combination you see so there's a lot of confusion a lot of angst the mice is kind of angst feeling like you're eating away at yourself challengings cards whippings you know just feeling like ugh, i'm getting beat but keep the faith because then you have this awesome new stellar beginning, this new commitment that's coming in um, and it's going to take time to rebuild, but you will absolutely be able to rebuild and you will get that fresh start that you need and, and you'll be nourished uh, from the universe. So this reading is as positive as you want it to be and this reading is as negative as you allow it to be. You know, Sagittarius, that is what I'm getting. And that is kind of like this attitude that you're getting for this next for this next phase. Because the four cups is your best bet to just sit and kind of wait it out. But, you know, you can allow this to keep you up at night. You can allow this to, to really beat yourself up and fight yourself, and fight yourself, fight yourself. Or you can trust that it's going to work out because it is going to work out. Point, point blank, period. Um... So yeah, let's go ahead and move into your oracles. But before we do that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for joining me. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out that description box. You can follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter. And I have a very special, special request from you. I have put out my first EP, guys. It is my dream to sing. So if you are interested, please check out my music. I'm going to be linking that description. I'm going to be linking that in the description box and in the comment section. So if you have any extra time and you have any extra ears, check it out. It's only four songs. It's real nice R&B, you know, real great for Valentine's Day, you know, particularly if you're alone, not going to lie, particularly if you're alone Valentine's Day. But, <laughs> you know, there's a little bit of everything for everybody. So guys, please consider checking that out for me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, friendly reminder that you could have up to three different readings from me, depending on what astrology you tune into. So if you do Vedic, then you can watch um, your moon and your your rising. And if you do Western, then you can watch your, your sun and your moon, you know, and then you can watch for your other signs, you know. So let's go ahead and move into your oracles. But thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for that moment of your time. So hold your vision. Yes. Yes. Hold your vision. Stick to it. Look at these mountains. It's hard. <laughs> You're having to overcome obstacles. There are obstacles. But you are more than equipped, Sagittarius, to walk over them and beat them <laughs> and and really overcome whatever it is that's been bothering you. Ooh, interesting. So you got romance and serendipity. 
I like this. So four leaf clover. So there is luck in this situation and romance. You could be meeting somebody new. So stay open for that. We didn't really talk about it. But like I said, some of you, I think I said that at the very beginning where it's like you could have a past uh, relationship that comes back. Somebody who's trying to offer you stability offer you love so you could be getting hit on two fronts so it's like you're dealing with this financial stuff you're dealing with this confusion when it comes to your stability your security but at the same time there's somebody from your past who's like wanting to reach out to you and get to know you or you could end up bumping up into somebody you know an old lover an old fling this could be like a bright moment in a dark kind of situation so just be open i do see somebody coming towards you i do see people wanting victory with you but most importantly i see victory for yourself i see winning for yourself i see you um knowing and loving yourself green is really important so i would wear green green manifestation bring in green money <laughs> so when you think about it if you have any green crystals i would certainly look into those i, I can't rattle them off um, i know jade is green um but I can't rattle them off, but I would incorporate greens into your wardrobe. It could also be to get out into nature, um, smell the fresh air, because that's good too. We got nine. So again, just emphasis on some sort of in independence, but also nine, your original house ruler, Sagittarius. So expansion, wisdom, but also luck. <laughs> luck, guys, you're lucky. Don't ever forget that you're lucky. Um... I hope that I remember that that's the name of the time. So yeah, for your emoji, please drop a four leaf clover in or one of the three leaf clovers, whatever clover in the comment section if this resonated because you are lucky. So you're going to get a lucky break from the situation. Do not think that you're not for a second. <laughs> You're blessed and it's going to work out for you. In other spaces, it might not work out for everybody because they don't have Sag energy, but you do. So here we are. Um, <laughs> so now we're going to move into your astrological analysis, guys. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Just as far as the placements could be different um, than what you're hearing in mainstream astrology. But I do find this to just be a tad bit more accurate. So we're going to look to see what I wrote uh, for your Sagittarius. Um, and... Let's go into it. So Sagittarius, your second house of owning will be up and down um, as Mars and Venus make a conjunction in Capricorn. You could be dealing with money issues, but also be beautifying your home and self. Always remember to sh to save when you can. You never know when you never know a rainy day. <laughs> Family could also be a source of comfort and stress. Enjoy the good times, but don't take the bad times to heart. You are surrounded by love. The sun will move into Aquarius February 13th, entering your third house of communication. It's a great time to share your ideas and get on social media. Jupiter has been occupying this house, so it's a really good time to sometimes my handwriting to get people on board, right? <laughs> so sometimes it's a really good time to get people on board with your revolutionary ideas. Don't be shy. Also, Mercury will be there in your third house March 6th. So don't miss this opportunity to get your voice heard. As a Sag, you are known to be, to be a talker. So don't let fear stop you. All right. So that's really interesting. So we didn't necessarily pick up so much on that communication part, but we definitely got that first part. And just to show you, I do pre-write everything out and you saw me shuffle on screen. So this just goes to show the synchronicities about these money issues. Second house is very affected. Family, money, it's just not great right now. But this transit will move. That's what I that's why I love astrology so much because nothing nothing stays the same. Everything is temporary. Um so any leftover money that you do have, keep it, save it. But also, this is an awesome time to bring a lot of attention to yourself um, when it comes to any of your creative ideas or just taking this time to be inspired and write, finish that novel, finish that play, you know, whatever it is for you, Sagittarius. But that is what I got for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop that lucky clover if this rec if this resonated with you. Check out my music if you have some time. And thank you so much. Peace until next time.